The trifield meter, model TF2, measures electromagnetic pollution. Five numbers can be measured, and it's preferred that all five be below these levels. Using this meter, check the areas where you spend time. If one of the numbers is high in a given location, you can take action to reduce exposure. Periodically check again because of new construction and cell tower installations, etc. The five measurements are magnetic field, electric field, frequency weighted magnetic, which emphasizes higher magnetic field frequencies, frequency weighted electric, which emphasizes higher electric field frequencies, and RF, which measures the strength of radio and microwaves, including all 5G installations capable of penetrating the home. You can measure the present value of the field, and also the highest value that's occurred in the past five seconds, and you can follow fast changes here. Surprisingly, small power lines may have very low magnetic field, but always have a high electric field. Fortunately, this electric field rarely gets into the house because it's easily shielded by construction materials or even by your hand. Larger power lines usually do have a significant magnetic field. This field can penetrate into the house. These larger power lines also have a high electric field. Cell towers emit quite a lot of RF. These digital signals fluctuate and may be hard to read from the large numerals so the peak is easier to read. This is a dimmer switch that's dimmed. There is some RF present. Note that although the sound icon is on, the sound from this meter is not very loud, so it can't be heard in noisy environments. Looking at the other fields, the weighted electric is about 25, weighted magnetic about 20, standard electric about 30, and standard magnetic 8.9. When the dimmer switch is turned to full power, Standard magnetic rises, and the electric fields stay about the same. But the weighted magnetic decreases to the same value as the standard magnetic, because high frequencies from the dimmer are no longer present. This is an electric stove that's off. There's some high magnetic field, probably from the clock. When the burner is turned on, the field rises significantly. The electric field is high near the clock, but surprisingly very high near the refrigerator. Usually this high electric field can be fixed just by unplugging the refrigerator and plugging it back in with reversed polarity. This is RF near a Wi-Fi router. It's pulsing fast, so the peak number is easiest to read. Smart meters from the electric company only pulse about once a minute, so set to RF and wait. There. Other smart meters from the gas or water companies may only pulse once a day, so it's probably pointless to try to measure them. Regular landline telephones normally have no RF, but in this case, a nearby cell tower seems to be contaminating the telephone wires. All microwave ovens leak a large amount of RF when on. These are the values close to the oven after it's warmed up. Note that the peak number holds for five seconds, so wait for it to settle. By about 25 feet away, numbers are much lower. Cell phones can have significant RF unless you use earphones to distance yourself. Laptops, when streaming data, actually have a fairly low RF output. Some appliances have a very high magnetic field when turned on. They can also have a high electric field even when off, if plugged in incorrectly. Also, your body influences the nearby electric field. This means that you should hold the meter when measuring electric field in order to measure what you're actually being exposed to. The trifield meter, model TF2. Measure, know, relax.